What's going on? I'm Sean Soloway, and today I'll be going over Ray Harryhausen's Medusa from Star Ace. I got this from Sideshow Collectibles. It came in today. I'm completely stoked. I've been waiting for this for a long time. Clash of the Titans is one of my all-time favorite movies. As you can see, this is the Signature Series. At the front of the box, you can see here on the Deluxe Series, it just says Super Vinyl Series. You see a picture of Medusa, and this right here, uh, it isn't a sticker, so... I don't know if they're going to have different packaging uh, or not for the regular edition, uh, which this one is now sold out. So I'm very, very thankful to add this to the collection. Here's a look at the top of the boxes on the deluxe versions. And here is the back. And there is a write-up if you want to pause and read that. And of course, you can see a picture of the deluxe and the regular versions, which are pretty much identical uh, apart from, yeah, you get this diorama, which is over here. So you can have a look at that. Looking super cool. Here's a look at the side of the packaging. You can see there it says Raymond Frederick Harryhausen. And of course, yeah, there is a write-up down there too. And this side of the packaging is where it really, really shines. Just look how epic that looks. Absolutely mind-blowing. So if you don't want to take your statue out, uh, you can have... You're looking just like that. And there's a look at the bottom. Uh, really not much to see here at all. Open these up. Uh, I'll start with the diorama base. We'll open that up. Let me get rid of Medusa. Has a little strap we can pull out. I get a little tape here. There's a little flame pit, which looks super cool. Let's take this. Oh, and this is very, very heavy. insane well but look at that absolutely insane amount of detail of course that is somebody turned into stone you can see how the arm is broken off there and the overspray on this just looks fantastic lots of rock down there and of course there's a cape with a hand and as i was saying earlier yeah this thing is just super super heavy and on the bottom, it just says Ray Harryhausen's Deluxe Version. Super, super cool. And of course, here is the flame, which looks sweet. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, that is not quite transparent, but you can see through it, and you can see the detail. And that looks absolutely awesome, too. But fantastic job. Would have been cool if that lit up like an LED. But let's get Medusa out. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and open up Medusa which uh, this, as I believe, is the same as all the other editions. So, pop this open here. And this time, it's actually in like a plastic uh, case. Pull that out. And oh my goodness, this is epic. But yeah, you can see, wow, look at that. Absolutely awesome, but you can see the arrows and, of course, yeah, Medusa in there. And it looks like there's some instructions on the back. So, yeah, there is some assembly required. You can see uh, the bow and arrow looks like it needs to just go into her hand. And, of course, uh, up on the top, you can see where she'll hold one of the bows. And, of course, it shows you how to set up the diorama, too. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Oh my goodness, I don't know what this is that just came off. Uh, looks like just a piece of foam, but wow, oh wow. That looks incredible. My goodness, it looks insane. Let's get a close-up of Medusa. Absolutely crazy madness. So uh, let me put her together. And oh wow. Talk about insane. Look at the snakes on the head. Just craziness going on there. But it definitely reminds me of when I was a kid. Uh, this is the definitely the thing of nightmares. But let me put her together. Boom! Okay, we have Medusa fully assembled and out of the package. And as you can see, this is definitely a masterpiece. There's no doubt about it. Growing up with this movie, I think I was six years old when it was released. I'm not sure when I saw it. Probably seven years old when I seen it in the theaters, but 
man, I will never forget the experience and how amazing this is. And the whole story of Perseus uh, was just mind blowing. But as you can see, Medusa does like slide away. So this is probably what you would get in your normal edition. Now the arrow is a little bit tricky. Uh, putting this whole thing, assembling it is definitely tricky, no doubt about that. And you can see it doesn't quite rest on her hands like it shows in the picture. It just comes off like that. You have to put it in. Uh, let me show you again here. But it shows you just stick the arrow uh, like that in the hands. And you can see it just doesn't want to rest. So if you put it there first and stick it in, uh, yeah, it just pops right out. Uh, oh, there you go. I think I'm going to leave mine like that because that actually came out pretty good. And of course, the diorama piece is two separate pieces. And yeah, this, I'm pretty sure some smart people out there can put some LEDs in that, which would look really, really cool. And just the guy turning to stone on the bottom looks absolutely epic. And you can see the curved piece right here where Medusa will actually, you know, slide right into there, which, man, it's so sweet. It's not even funny. Uh, the other assembly that's needed is these two arrows in the back here you just do need to pop those in also uh but without further ado now that i've shown you what it looks like from a distance let's go ahead and get some close-up shots of medusa and we'll go ahead and start with the head of medusa and you can see yeah the eyes and the teeth on there uh are just fantastic man you can see the gloss and the eyes and her eyebrows and each individual snake is fully painted and detailed you can see her skin looks absolutely awesome. Let me zoom up on it in there. Each individual bump. Uh, I don't know if these seams are supposed to be on there like that on her arms. And of course, this bow does take some uh, assembly. And this piece right here is actually a string, which is really cool. You can see her tail, the detail. And the tail is just insane. But very, very good. And, you know, it is like soft and, and bendy, so it's not too tough. And of course, this piece right here is just really, really heavy. And you can see, man, this guy right here screaming in pain from being turned to stone. But that looks super cool. Uh, and here's the rest of the base. Let me just slide it around and show you guys. You can see his red cape down there. Zoom in on that part. Oh, and there's another snake. Didn't notice that. Looks super cool. Look at the snake, too, coming off his arm where it snapped off. Uh, looks very, very cool indeed. And it looks like, yeah, it's, it's one whole snake, you know, going around. No, nope, it's two separate snakes. And, of course, I showed you the base earlier where it says Star Ace. Uh, the fire pit looks really, really cool. You can see, like, the black all over it. And, of course, the little symbols that we get in the Clash of the Titans movie. Uh, if you guys haven't seen the movie, it is highly, highly, highly recommended. Let's turn Medusa around and show you some more of her hair. Uh, but look at these individual snakes in here. Just crazy. Each snake has its own detail. And you can see the arrows. Uh, you just stick them into these little holes. Up on the top there. But see what I mean by like seeing the seam right here? But And then the snake wrapped around her wrist. And then there's the snakes on the back of her head. Again, you can see each snake head on there. Just looks absolutely crazy, crazy cool. And that gloss just looks beautiful. And again, you can see the seam right here. It looks like where they glued it together. Uh, it doesn't articulate at all. You can see her shoulder blades. And then the strap on the back, this piece here does wiggle a little bit, but the weathering and everything about it looks fantastic. I mean, look at that side shot. Just crazy cool. Magnificent, man. That is the thing of nightmares. And then, of course, yeah, her tail, you can see the seam all the way through here, which doesn't look too bad on the tail. And the tail is the same every which way you turn it. But, man, 
fantastic. Uh, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. It looks like you can see some glue right there, which is a bit of a bummer, especially for the, the price that you're getting into. But uh, overall, I think it's awesome. I'm glad I did opt in for the deluxe version, which is now sold out. It's going to look absolutely awesome uh, on display, that's for sure. Especially as it's a representation of one of my all-time favorite movies. Now, measurement-wise, looks like she's a just under 13 inches and about 13 inches wide also. But let me know what you think. Thanks for checking out today's video. Check out one of these videos on the screen, and I will see you guys in the next video.